creators, today we're doing lesson six, sketching a story. The objectives are I can sketch a small moment story and I can add sensory details, character feelings, dialogue, and inner thoughts to my drawing. So I'm writing about this when I went to the Humane Society to get Genevieve. So I'm just going to do a really quick sketch of what happened that day. And it's not going to be very detailed, it's just kind of going to be stick figures and a really fast sketch. So I remember that I wanted to get a kitten so I decided to go to the Humane Society. Um, when I went to them and I told them that I wanted a kitten, they had me walk into this room. And I remember that there were these cages, they were really tall, there were tons and tons of cages and they were all filled with kittens. So right now I'm drawing the cages and drawing some just really fast sketches of the kittens inside. So there are so many kittens in all the cages. I'm not doing a really detailed drawing. This is just to get my ideas going. Drawing lots of kittens and cages. Okay, and then I remember that I saw the bars of the cages. So I'm drawing some bars. Then I remember that the workers asked me who I'd like to look at and there was one cage that had two kittens inside. There was a fluffy orange and white striped kitten and then there was a fluffy black and white and orange kitten. So first I held the orange kitten for a little bit and then I remember that I held the fluffy black, orange and white kitten. So I'm going to draw a picture of that. So this is me, it's just a stick figure. And then I'm going to draw a picture of me holding the kitten. So my arm's holding her. I felt happy, so I'm going to put a smile on my face. And that was the fluffy black, orange, and white kitten. Okay, so I've just done this really quick sketch. So now I'm going to add some things to my sketch. First, I'm going to add sensory details. So sensory details are things you see, hear, touch, smell, and taste. So now I'm going to think to myself, what did I see? Well, I remember one thing I saw was I saw rows of eyes peering at me. So I saw the row, rows of eyes of kittens peering at me through the bars of the cages. I remember I saw rows of cages. I remember something I saw was the bars of the cages. And then I remember that I saw this fluffy black orange and white kitten. Now I'm going to think about what did I hear when I was there? Well, I remember I heard the sound of kittens crying. And then I'm going to think about what did I feel? Well, when I was holding this kitten, I remember I felt her soft fur. So now I've added a bunch of things that I saw, one thing that I heard, one thing that I felt, and I don't really remember anything I smelled or tasted there. Um, I wasn't eating anything, so I'm going to skip those two, which is okay. When you, when you add your sensory details, I want you to add at least three sensory details. So you could put three things you saw, one you saw, one you heard, one you touched, but I want you to add at least three sensory details to your drawing. I added one, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to add at least three. Now, 
I'm going to add dialogue and inner thoughts to my drawing. So I'm going to think, okay, what was I thinking and what was I saying? Well, I remember when I was holding this kitten, who's Genevieve, the cat that I adopted, I remember that she was batting at my long dangly earrings and I said, you're playful. And I really liked that about her, that she, I could tell that she was a very playful kitten. So that's something I said. So I remember when I decided to adopt her, they told me that her name was Sun Bear. And I really didn't like that name. I remember thinking to myself, that's not going to work. So I'm drawing a thought bubble for an inner thought. I'm going to write down, that's not going to work. So I want you to add at least two pieces of dialogue or inner thoughts. They could be two inner thoughts, two dialogue, or one dialogue and one inner thought like me. Now I'm going to think about how I was feeling in the story. So I remember that when I, I felt really happy when I was holding her, and then I also remember that when I heard the name Sun Bear, I really disliked it, and I felt kind of appalled. So this is, I'm putting a heart for feelings, and I'm going to write appalled. I kind of felt, I felt appalled, which means I really didn't like the name. I felt like, oh, I don't, I really don't like that. I remember I kind of wrinkled my nose because I disliked that name Sun Bear and I knew I would have to rename her Genevieve. Okay, second graders, so today you're going to look at your seed story choice. So mine was when I went to the Humane Society to get Genevieve. I want you to do a very fast sketch of that seed story. Then you're going to add three sensory details, so things you see, hear, touch, smell, or taste, three sensory details to your drawing, one character feeling, and two pieces of dialogue or inner thoughts. Okay, and you're not filling out this part. This is all you're doing. Have a great day. Bye.